This is Splitika, the freakiest character on the Russian internet. First thing you will notice is her aggressive makeup, but that's before you look into her content. She is known for adding special ingredients in her meals, eating menstrual pads and peeing on stuff. By the way, she also has a boyfriend who is also very creative and incredible content creator. But what if I told you that she wasn't always like this? She used to be regular kid, loving sister and just everyday girl. So what made her choose this lifestyle? Uh, Vara, 17 years. For Vara Makarova, yeah, it's the same name as that guy from COD. Apart from freaky trash videos she does, I couldn't find much about her background. Because there is no way you wake up one day and think to yourself, yeah, I'm gonna lick some menstrual pads today. There surely must be a reason behind her online behavior. So I dig the whole internet and I found nothing. Until I joined her Telegram channel and spent hours upon hours of digging through all four years of daily content. And now, let me me present you with four most interesting facts about her background. So first of all, her relationship with her parents is bad. I don't know, I feel like I kinda expected it. Her father left family long time ago and her mom got herself a boyfriend who doesn't have a job and is not planning on getting one. But for some reason, mom beefs with Splitika that at 15 years old she doesn't have a job either. What the is Splitika like a man of the house now or something? I don't know, when I was 15 years old, all I did all day was playing CS with my Russian friends. But I guess I should have been out there providing for the entire family. My bad. And I guess it takes a lot of energy to go through everyday arguments with your mom, so she does the most reasonable thing ever. Pills, clops, a lot of dudes, alcohol, and I don't mean like glass of wine every day. No, I mean hardcore drinking until blackout almost daily. <laughs> But wait, you know what's even better for a lifestyle like this? Schizophrenia. Our protagonist Varvara was diagnosed with depression, schizophrenia, she's bipolar, and allegedly with some other mental disorders as well. Well, that beats my Pokemon card call. Alright, who wrote this b script? This is absolute f I don't really know if pills and being schizo is a good mix, and considering what I will show you later in this video, it's it's horrible actually, it's, it's not good mix. Depression, alcohol, life struggles, this background sounds like already solid foundation for a music career. Wait a minute, what is this? Turns out Varvara is a musician. Well, we don't care since we came here for trash cringe content, so we will come back to her music later in the video. To wrap it up, she's very problematic, lost, and all she wants to do in her life is music. Varvara creates an alter ego of this, uh, I don't know what to call this, a clown, a grim, th this thing. It popped on her telegram out of nowhere pretty much, but I guess she wanted to drag even more attention towards herself and get into music industry like this? Well, interesting plan, milady, but it actually worked out. She got her attention she wanted. She got invited into two TV shows, Patsanki and College. These are Russian shows where they take problematic kids and make human beings out of them. It, it, it's cringe, don't, don't watch it, it's just, tr trust me, it's very big cringe. When people saw her in the show, they were shocked. Like, who wouldn't be shocked? What is this? And from there on, more and more people started looking her up and joining her Telegram channel. Well, now we get to the part of the video where I won't make any money out of this since the Splitika from now on does nothing but absolute trash, like awful content. <laughs> I can't even show half of this on YouTube. I wanted to put it up on my Patreon so you guys get more insights and more clips of particular people I cover. Let me know in the comments if anyone would be interested and I can do that for future videos as well. Anyway, Varvara, of course, with all this hype around her, wanted to turn it into a promo for her upcoming music. However, nobody cared about that and Splitika was kind of sad but decides to carry on with Freaky Persona since that seems what people want and turns her telegram into an absolute degeneracy. And this is still nothing, just wait till you see what she does to her food. Вот 
Yeah, what he just saw is exactly what you think it was. She puts her boyfriend's material straight on the Mac Royale. And this is not where it ends. She decided to make part two. Для этого нам понадобится стаканчик кофе. Ну и, конечно же, секретный ингредиент. И выливаем его. Это вместо молока, понимаете? If you're wondering why is this still up on the internet, that's because you never use Telegram. Good thing about Telegram is that no government or anyone but you and the recipient can see the messages. So it's safe. Imagine you live in North Korea and this app is the only way how you get news from outside world. But on the other hand, since it's not as regulated, you get freaks like this splitting. Funny thing about her Telegram channel is that at its peak it had 1 million followers, which for a platform like this is abnormous number. A question arises, why the hell are people following this? Like I generally don't understand if people are taking a piss or they are mentally insane. Well that's till I discover her fan base. <laughs> Неплохо, мне очень плохо. <laughs> These kids are usually like 12, 15 years old, and that's actually surprising since I didn't think anyone above age of 5 would enjoy her content, but alright, fine, okay. Our protagonist been popping off in summer of 2023, and she did a lot of content. I obviously cannot show all the stuff she did, but most of the time it's either her eating questionable stuff or wits where she's torturing her boyfriend. <laughs> I guess role swapped and boyfriend took his revenge in the next clip. I can't show you this obviously because this is too far, but basically she opens her mouth and boyfriend gives her a golden shower. What the hell am I doing, man? Why am I watching this stuff? She also has a second private telegram channel where she does questionable things to herself with this eggplant or she does the giggity with her boyfriend. Giggity. And it's of course behind the paywall. Man, I wouldn't watch this stuff even if I was paid for it. And there are people who do pay for this stuff themselves. Jesus. There are so many vids with her where she drinks piss, where she pisses at her fella. Literally, we talked about her fans, but what about people who don't like her online behavior? As you probably guessed, not everyone was a fan of her content. And some people even took it too far. For example, she got pepper sprayed in this video. She then cries and that's where the video ends. However, that's not as interesting as the next case. She gets beaten up by some random dudes. Allegedly, it was because they didn't like the videos she puts up online. And the story goes something like this. Somehow her address got leaked. The next day, her door is covered in sauces, like ketchup and mustard. On evening of the same day, a very interesting video pops up on her Telegram channel, where she's in the forest getting beaten up by some dude while she's screaming her lungs out. The post doesn't end there, as it has a message below it that goes like this. I was beaten up there is a video going viral that some dumb and brain rots leak have a look at this channel and then there is a link to her channel she mentioned well this is where i see the problem imagine you get beaten up by some dudes and you make a decision to hype it up and tell everyone about it like hey i got beaten up wow i'm so cool like you're proud of it or something i don't understand so like what when she was getting beaten up she was like hey please record me real quick and then send it to me it doesn't make no sense the video itself wasn't too convincing either dude can't even let a single punch it felt very fake and as you guessed she must have had some punch marks on her face etc right well those magically disappear or change placements in the posts she does after. Well, to me, this whole thing looks a little funky schmunky. A lot of Russian bloggers started to make videos on her and she gained even more popularity. That's where another freak tuber, or whatever you want to call them, joins the battle. His name is Hilmi. He or she, I don't know, it, it's a trance. Who does awful stuff? When I researched who this Hilmi is, dude, I threw up, like, no joke. If you thought Splitika is bad, this is even worse. This guy goes to dressing room in the clothing store and f poops on the floor on camera like he can't make this up well this guy makes a uh, this video on splitica saying she's this and that basically calling her trash did, 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 did you see yourself dude do you remember giant douche and third sandwich debate from south park well this is literally it why literally i will tell you in a bit basically splitica answers his her uh, it's call out by pissing on her phone with Hilmi's picture on it, while saying, this is what you get, and calling her offense to an LGBT community. All right, and how does Hilmi respond? What could such an intelligent creature think of? Hmm. 
Mm, I don't know. Well, he does the same thing, but instead he poops on the phone. Dude, I can't do this no more. Please, someone do the research instead of me. I, I, I can't. Splitika is then invited to an interview where she keeps her freaky act. She talks with herself, answers questions, she licks menstrual pads, as expected, and then says that she's an artist. I don't know what's artistic about drinking piss, but okay. Oh, she's talking about her music. Yeah, sure. Let's have a look at how her music improved over time. And nobody cared about it, as expected. Splitika framed herself in the freaky bubble and cannot get out of it. GG and Lucky, go next. Привет фанатам и хейтерам. И, кстати, я ваших мам Да тебя никто не знает, всем похуй. Meet her boyfriend, Sasha Budilin. If he thought Splitika was bad, he is a male version of her. This guy just eats whatever. For example, here, he puts some ciggy into some sauces and eats it. This is bread with the toilet thingy, I don't know what it's called, sorry. He also ate his own vomit, piss and excrement. Like, I'm not even joking. Another recipe from this distinguished gentleman is ice cream with dirt. Mmm, yummy. And here's another one, milk with human hair. Mwah. Конечно. I think people should actually take tests before they can have children to make sure they're not insane. Because if these two are gonna have kids, the humanity is over. <laughs> First of all, we can clearly tell that this guy is a submissive one in the relationship. He doesn't work, doesn't go to school or anything. All he does all day is nothing. First, he acts like he's Alpha Sigma Giga Chat. <laughs> and then when he needs money, he just crawls to Splitika and acts like a little puppy. Funny thing is they broke up after this interview. And Sasha is pretty much irrelevant right now. And that's good. To this day, Splitika is doing some content on her channel. It's not as vile as it used to be, and her followers went down significantly, and that's good. And I hope she will stay away from licking and eating stuff, and rather focus on her music. Discord down in the description, that's it, bye bye.